That's right. It's Totally Celebrity Salon. The show where eight A-list celebrities train as beauty therapists. In tonight's grand finale, there can be only one. Um, winner, that is. The gloves are off, and it is on. Madame and Monsieur Bonsoir, bienvenue. Good night, my damn and Helix, and welcome. I'm going to start crying. All of a sudden, it's like... Really serious. <laughs> Sorry. I think I misunderstood this talk. I, I think so. We all take a volume now. Will we? <laughs> the winner of Celebrity Salon 2012 is. Morning is broken in Dublin's fair city and our celebs assemble to be briefed on today's assignment, creating mood boards for a professional photo shoot. So this morning we're at the hospital group and I'd like to introduce you to Ashling Holly, who is the MD of the hospital group. I want you to really listen to all the details of what you have to do because you're going to have to make your mood boards based on the theme that Ashling will give you. So listen and pay attention. Not a chance. Ashling, thank you. Hello celebrities, Hello. I'd like to welcome you today to the hospital group here in our headquarters in Kildare Street. The hospital group, to give you a little bit of a background, is Europe's largest provider of cosmetic surgery, obesity surgery, non-surgical procedures and hair restoration. We've performed over 350,000 successful procedures to date and I suppose in terms of that process have changed many patients' lives uh, in the last 20 years. The theme for your task today is the word metamorphosis. Nah, sorry love, they're not listening. They're celebrities, they pay people to listen for them. We're going to give you four patient case studies that have had various procedures both surgically and non-surgically with the hospital group. And we literally want you to create a mood board. We want you to style the patient and then we want you to do a photo shoot with the patient. Both myself and Elaine will judge the mood boards and then we'll select two finalists to go ahead and perform the photo shoot. Okay, now we're going to send you out to the streets of Dublin to maybe capture a colour, a photograph or any material that you might think will be relevant to your mood board. The very best of luck. They need it. The winner of this year's Celebrity Salon receives a fabulous limited edition Tag Hoyer Formula One chronograph watch worth over one and a half grand. That's a whole lot of bling right there. Our celebrities hit the streets of Dublin, minus bodyguards, in search of inspiration. Greg appears to have found his inspiration in the usual place. We were set off on a task of going to take a picture um, based on metamorphosis. I, I, I didn't really listen about what the task was about. Greg doesn't even know what he's doing. <laughs> he's just taking pictures of anything. It was about change, like people who feel a bit depressed or down and what they have to do to themselves to get them back to where they want to be. <laughs> the garbage truck. Right, I've just seen fake flowers there. And the whole point of plastic surgery is it's for life. So it's like preserved. That's so they such never a die. Good idea. They never die. I just didn't know what I was doing. I was just taking pictures of anything. These are always gonna look like this. They're never gonna change kind of thing. Leia's kinda like the um poet philosopher of the crew. So we had our final task and of course I'm hanging. I'm dying. Hugh humorous flashback to night before. The most important task of the two weeks, and myself and Phil, are like the, the alcohol pouring out of us. You were barking mad. Yeah. The night after Sligo, I thought that was bad. This day was horrendous. Stop taking Thank pictures you. of random stuff. Put your hands, put your hands, put your hands. But to be honest with you, I, I really wanted to do well in this one, because I, say, I have messed about, but it's quite a serious thing in my opinion. I think some people, including my mates, have had in the past where they've needed to do it, they've needed to change, they've been depressed, and they've and I've seen it myself, so I wanted to put a lot of effort into this. The hospital group is just round from the Shelbourne Hotel, which has recently undergone a metamorphosis. Why the Shelbourne, though? The Shelbourne is going to be part of the mood board for a whole new lease of life. 
But it's not new, though. It's old. I know the shell born is, but the 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 patient is not. The I'm patient isn't old. I'm confused again. So Aren't hangovers only brilliant? Everything seems like a good idea. That's one option. That's yeah. that's looking good. The statue just for me represents a woman that's confident. Hey, can you fix that for me, Greg? Stop pressing buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. But when we went out to get the photographs, everyone else had their photograph before me. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. Nadia, what are you doing? I ended up seeing the bird cage in the window and just thought I could do something with that. Oh, I'm actually knocking that off again. Can you fix that for me again? <laughs> Look, she's an Irish model, not a rocket scientist, OK? It's all too much for Phil. Look, he's going for a lie down. We went to the park and we saw a load of swans, and next to them was a few pigeons. So I thought, well, that's perfect. So they go in as a pigeon, then they become no. Basically, it's like the life cycle, the ugly, you know where. So first they start off a rodent, and then they become you, you know, when you first get the surgery done, you can't really go anywhere or do much. So you're a, you're a swanette, and then you become a swan. It's good, isn't it? Very good. Wow, reality TV can really mess you up. Inspiration procured, it's time to retreat to the exclusive Castle Knock Hotel and Country Club, where our celebs will create their mood boards. We got back to the hotel and then we had to do a mood board. So we basically get to cut out pictures in magazines like colours, obviously related to our picture that we had taken that day. And we had to just literally cut out whatever pictures or images or sayings that portrayed what we wanted that mood board to be. How are you all getting on, guys? I'm getting cutting the pictures out, and but I'm getting more and more confused on my theme. But I've been asked in school, and they've handed in a lot of this. I'm fucked if I know what I'm doing. That's the problem. I'm currently enjoying every moment of this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I think Nikki at one point was like, I think I'm just going to cut out a picture of Johnny Depp because I like him. Well, there's the pigeons, there's the cygnets, and then they turn into a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of ideas in my head at the minute, but uh, as many bits as bobs as I can get, and then I'm going to hire it all on and make it up as I go along. And hopefully, I'll do well. All of a sudden, I wanted to put all my heart and soul into it. I've done this mood board, so basically the designer can go away, know what I kind of like, what hairstyles I'm going for, what um, nails I'm going for. It's going good. I'm just worried I'm going to run out of time. I've only got 15 minutes left, so I have to look for hair and makeup, yeah. I was just working like the clappers. Everyone was the same. Come on, celebs, let's make and do here. Flanking Elaine to judge our mood boards today are top stylist Courtney Smith and hospital group MD Ashling Holly. Talk about your tough audience. I wanted my mood board to be slightly better than it was. It was all a bit rushed at the end. You've now, Julian, you have five minutes to give your presentation for your mood board, so best of luck. Right. Perhaps I should start by saying, Madame and Monsieur Bonsoir, bienvenue, good and my dame and herlix, and welcome. At buenas noches, senor, senor, bienvenidos, and as we would say in Belfast, what about you? Ooh, get Julian Simmons. And what I have gone for here is the fanfare of their new life. Go walking through a new door, they are going to want a new world of style and glamour, and I've aspired to this and shown some of the stars which I think or they may feel they would want to dress themselves in. With the new body, uh, the body image that the ladies now have, they're going to be sort of wanting to try more colours, different colours that they maybe didn't think of before. And also, you never know, the new style and the new body image that they have may trigger a little bit of romance and intrigue for them. Why do you think you would deserve to win Celebrity Me? Salon? Uh, I don't, well, I'm a trier, that, that, that's it, but I feel, you know, it would be nicer if one of the girls won, really, because it would mean so much to them. I kind of got nervous when I went into the room. I'm sitting in front of the panel. Elaine scares the hell out of me at the best of times, you know? She gives you one look and you're like, Jesus Christ. First of all, I went with my picture, right? Um, it might just look very simple, but there's flowers hanging on the window ledge with a window open. So my whole idea with the window open was, letting old air out and new air in, new beginnings. And, and then I start talking about the mood board and I 
kind of in my head went, I'm talking the biggest load of crap. The pink for the lips. So just to keep it all those kind of colours, soft hair, natural look, all about natural. Obviously flowers are things that grow and it's all natural. So I wanted to keep it natural, keep it sun kissed. And then I went with all the flowers in that. So yeah. Thank you, Glenda. Glenda, can I ask you, who do you think most deserves to win Celebrity Salon 2012? Me. <laughs> Why do you think you most deserve it? Because I've enjoyed every moment of it and I've put my heart and soul into every task that we've had to do. Um, I also think I've brought good fun to the team as well because I can't keep my mouth shut sometimes. Okay, thank you very much, Glenda. Cheers. Okay, so this is, this is my mood board and it's... It's a concoction of things that I like. Ground control to Major Nikki. Some of the things on here, are things that have inspired me over the past few weeks we've been here, like the facials we learned and doing the plaits in the hair yesterday. He's just so hot, so I just had to put him in the picture. Does it, is it a reflection on the what you're going to be styling at all tomorrow, Johnny Depp? Or is he your inspiration? <laughs> is he your inspiration? Wow, he's my, he's my dream husband. <laughs> Sorry. Elaine burst out laughing to me and told me that I'd got the whole thing completely wrong and that the mood board was only about things that I like. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Elaine, who is she? Where did they find her? I think I misunderstood this task. I, th I think so. But hey, she made Elaine laugh. Still to come, the winner of Celebrity Salon 2012 is finally revealed. In three years of doing Celebrity Salon, this has been my most difficult choice yet. No flipping. You are re-entering the Celebrity Salon. The talent has assembled at the Castlenock Hotel and Country Club. The two celebrities with the best mood boards will win a place in the final. The tension is only fierce. I didn't think it was going to be like this, but every person wants to win this. Apart from Greg. So, Leila, you have five minutes to present your mood board, so best of luck. I believe that life is like a metamorphosis. You never know what you're going to get. I see in this picture of steel railings, they're quite dark and cold, with some life trying to burst through the railings. Life is lack of fancy railings. Over on this side, I've put some bright colours, like a fresh new look. Is that something that you do on the shoot with the styling? Would you go for colour blocking with someone who's lost weight? I would do, it's purely because people tend to wear black when, they're, when, they, when they are overweight. So I think the brighter colours definitely symbolise, like, look at me. OK, and do you think you deserve to win? Yeah. I don't know why, though. And cue awkward pause. Boom, went in there, shut the door. You've got the three judges sitting there. You've got the cameras on you. I was actually nervous. The reason why I took the photograph, and this is my inspiration, is that I believe that every person in the world, whether you're black, yellow, white, fat, thin, everyone is a light. We're all the same. It's just a shame that a few of these are dimmer than others, which I say is portraying confidence. And if it takes anything like surgery, it takes anything like health programs, anything it takes to make that person confident and let their light shine, then so be it. I don't want to change the person, I want them to be them. Take away any blemishes, you know, so they've got the confidence, but keep them as natural as possible. And if they do want to add colour, I like to only add it to the lips and to the nails matching. He's so dreamy. I believe that anyone should let the light shine. Very good. Thank you, Philip. Do you have a vision for how you like the clothes to be? I know a few of them have had, they've reduced the weight. So that's why I was thinking more of a flowy dress with a belt to really take in the waist. High heels to really extend the calves, give them that great womanly figure that everyone loves. So, Philip, um, can I ask you, who do you think um, most deserves to win Celebrity Salon 2012? I'm not going to say myself because I know everyone's thought I've been partying hard, but, but as it's progressed, I've really got you know, interested and really excited about the new challenges, and now I feel like I, I want to win it. OK. Thank you, Philip. Thank, Thank you. you. My presentation was OK. I was very nervous. I was sweating buckets. So, Nadia, you can relax. Don't be so nervous. I actually remember looking, I was pointing up to the 
the board at one point and my hand is like this. The birdcage represented being trapped in a situation. I think everyone can relate to that. I liked the idea that the birds were outside and it was like they were flying free into a new life and a new beginning. So I decided style-wise, I thought that because of Bird of Paradise, we could go very tropical paradise. So um, a lot of kind of aquas, bright colors, and this lady down here just looked so happy and I kind of thought that that would be, you know, kind of what the look would be, would be like a happy woman who's, you know, not afraid anymore. So that was the angle that I was going for today. Okay. Thank you, Nadia. All right. Thank you. When I walked in initially and I was in front of the panel, I just froze for a minute and then I, I just rambled on. The reason why I chose this picture was because I think the woman represents strength and confidence. The main theme as well around the styling, um, I've incorporated a lot of these shorts, which I feel are quite feminine, but still very casual, you know, um, ca casual chic. Uh, you know, halfway through I was saying, what the hell am I saying here? I mean, they were tough, they were tough and they were firing questions at me. I think it's a really vibrant mood board. The only thing I will say is it's lacking in consistency a little bit. You've gone from gothic in one side to floral and demure to a one shouldered kind of pretty flirty dress and then you said at the very end that your direction with the styling was going to be paired back minimal minimalism with shorts and a blazer translated you don't have a clue what you're on about it's like a little bit confusing really for me to identify as to how that would fit in with the hospital group brand like we said tough crowd next uh, i was quite nervous actually because I felt quite strongly about it and I want to do well on the task. So Greg, you have five minutes to present your mood board. So best of luck. Thank you. Right, basically, um, I'm starting off like this. If people who feel as if they're down in the dark, I made it up as I go along. I didn't rehearse it, I just made it up and done it. But my main thing was when I went looking today for photos, I picked the traffic lights because if people go to that stage of their life where they hit the red, basically the red man, that's, they're going nowhere, they've stopped, they don't know where to go. And I think that with the right attitude, like you get that amber stage, and then with the right people around you, you get to the green light, which is go, and that opens up. To be honest, the presentation was probably the best task I've done. Thank you for your presentation, Greg. Can I ask you, why do you think you would deserve to win Celebrity Salon 2012? To be honest with you, I don't deserve to win it. Um, I've came here as like a lad's lad. I've come here to have a bit of banter. If everyone took it dead serious, you'd be boring. So I've come here just to be myself, have a bit of fun, and I don't, I don't, I don't deserve to win it, so I wouldn't want to be in the final, but I thought I might as well do a, a last, last good thing. I knew I wasn't going to win the show. I, I haven't come here to win. I've come here for the banter, but I put effort into that one, and I really enjoyed doing it. At least he's honest about it. Presentation's over. Our trio of power women decides which two celebs should face off in our final challenge. As far as we're concerned, <laughs> They're all winners. So then we go and have a meal while they're working up their decision. We're just talking about like, who should win, who should like, who should be the finalist. Who's gonna win? <laughs> I don't know who's gonna win. What I'm saying is who I think should be in the final for me would be Glenda because Glenda, I, honestly, that drag makeup was absolutely <laughs> tremendous. Amazing. I'm raging. I missed that. And you give me a hand as well when you didn't need to. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, Not you. only oh. to be as much fun as you were. We're not gone yet. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. Everyone was telling each other how fabulous they were and how great to meet each other and that they loved each other. It was really deep. I think Nikki had to hand it to her because she didn't give Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yeah. And I can't believe all the tasks you did. Like yeah, you did have great makeup. You won us. They talk about the expression tired and emotional. We'd had a long day. Julian, obviously, you're the oldest of the group, but you fit right in. You were just su such a pleasure to be around. <laughs> Julian, because I just love being around you, because you're just so comforting. And yeah. <laughs> I just, I can just talk to you and listen to your stories for hours. And Phil, because you've really just kept everyone so upbeat on this holiday. Like, holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just got really emotional, people saying nice things about each other. Right. I think, uh, to be honest, I think everyone who's, everyone on this table has worked so hard and I think he's all winners deep down. Um, <laughs> I just picked Nadia because when she's been with me, I've led her astray when she's actually really good at it. And I've led her astray a few times. Me and Nadia have been great friends, we clicked straight away and there's definitely a spark there. Hopefully you'll see, we'll see what happens off camera. 
um, I'd love to see you after, after this. I think that I'm very lucky to have Greg as a friend and I don't know what's going to happen after that. If, if, if it goes pear shape, it would still be great friends and that's it. If it goes well, I've got one of the fittest girls I've seen ever on my arm, so we, I can't complain. Um, Phil, I think that you're a great guy. I'm not very good at like falling into groups and stuff. I'm really quiet, but I think you brought out my bad side, <laughs> which hey, is a good Jesus, thing. Jesus, catch me if that's up right now. And I felt myself welling up because people, as it went on, it it got really, really emotional. I'm dying about you because you've come on my all the t the two chants we did together, and we wet ourselves doing those. <laughs> yeah, we really we did. did. Normally, you only hear comments like this when you're at your wedding or yeah, a funeral. Phil, um, because I just really admire the way that you are the, the life of the party and definitely get the party He's the going. Party and, boy. You, and you've even made me party, which is a feat in itself. So That's killing know, me this is actually very emotional, isn't it? I feel like you're gonna oh start all this time. <laughs> I love all this. I love this emotional stuff so much. Oh, amazing. Oh, I know. This will be the best five minutes of this whole trip. I'm so glad it didn't go the other way around, because if it went the other way around, I would have been crying and I wouldn't have been able to speak. So, we'll all take a volume now, will we? <laughs> <laughs> Say no to drugs, kids. While our celebs fix their runny mascara, Scary Elaine gives the mood boards a final perusal. You really don't want to be in her shoes. Her feet are tiny. So in three years of doing Celebrity Salon, this has been my most difficult choice yet. The decision of who my two finalists are for Celebrity Salon 2012. And my first finalist is... Julian. Thank you very much, thank you. And my second finalist is... To my surprise, Philip. It is a first for Celebrity Salon to have two men in the final. So I'd just like to say, may the best man win. <laughs> oh, it's on, baby. They used to be friends, but now the gloves are off as Julian and Phil battle for the Celebrity Salon Crown. It's like you've died and gone to hell. Let's take it to the final. Ooh. Pour yourself a strong drink. We'll be back. <laughs> Told you we'd be back. Our tale thus far. Eight top celebs have tackled a barrage of beauty challenges with only two left standing. Now Julian, what about Chief Simmons and Phil, Jeanette, Olivier are in the final. Made the best man win. <laughs> when Elaine called out my name, I was surprised because Julian's taken it seriously every day and it rightly so be in the final. But there was other talented people there. Zero hour has arrived. Our two finalists must report to the hospital group where they'll be briefed on their final challenge. Based on the mood boards that you presented yesterday evening, the hospital group are going to give you both the opportunity to meet with the four patients individually this morning where you'll get the opportunity to interview them, where they'll share their inspirational stories about how surgery has changed their life. This afternoon, both of you will choose a patient each that you're going to take forward, style them, and complete the shoes. Super. Best Thank of luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> I went to bed early, had a good night's sleep, and thought all I want to do is understand about each of these patients when we meet them, find out their story. What have you had done? Uh, I'm really small. I'm only four foot ten. I've always been petite and small framed, with a, like a much larger bottom half. So that's why I wanted like a breast enlargement right. to balance myself out. Have you felt much happier since it's much done? Much happier. It's changed my life. Like I like have a lot more self confidence than I never had before. Well done and thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. And she obviously has the confidence now, yeah. and she's uh, she's certainly given herself a good. Balancing out now. I've got a sudden urge for a glass of milk as yes. well. Each of the patients come in, uh, and people were saying to me, I thought you would have picked the girl with the big boobs. And I was like, well, clearly, I don't think you really knew me, because the whole thing about metamorphosis is the change 
Because you want someone who's been at the depths of their depression to come out of that, because they're, they're the people who are going to inspire you most. Meet Anne. The hospital group treated her using their non-surgical made-to-measure diet plan, which saw her lose three stone in eight weeks. I was going to go on a cruise, so I said, here goes. Like, and for some of my age, you know, you know, you learn because people say, oh, you're going through the change of life, you know, hormones and all that. You will, you know, put on the weight and all that. I kind of accepted it where I shouldn't have, yes. you know? And why I went as well and come here now is to advise people my age. That they can do it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I really liked her. Yes, she's a, as we would say in Belfast, she's a nice wee woman. I lost two and a half stone, um, but found that my skin kind of collapsed completely. I just wanted to get some work done to kind of, you know, fix my face up a little bit. Um, so I had some fillers and Botox and just, you, yeah, to try and just build up my confidence. Have a look in the mirror because you can, you can go and do it now. Knock, knock everybody for six. <laughs> Come on, all in and sit down, love. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Phil. Audrey. I'm Julian. Nice Audrey. to meet you. You too. Well, tell us your story. Okay, I said, have we got all day? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. had a gastric band fitted. As soon as I heard Audrey's story, and I heard how she's got a two-year-old uh, child and a six-month-old child, and she's decided to do this gastro uh, band, I was saying, you're going to inspire people. And how long have you had it in? Since 2008, December 2008. OK. Yeah, and I've lost nearly eight stone. Fantastic. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. I stayed in because I had no clothes. I had one pair of tracksuit bottoms and one vest top, and I'd sit up all night washing them and drying them. It was just, it was awful. And how is it now? Oh my God, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here. Uh, <laughs> I will do anything now, speak to anybody, really well. talk to anybody. I don't care anymore. What you see now is what you get. Nice to meet you, darling. Good luck. Would you like to go for that lady I would love to go with for the that gastric lady. band? Yeah, I would love to. And I'll go for the lady with the drops. Deal? Absolutely. Fantastic. Let's take it to the final. They hate each other. Hello. How are you? You okay? Not too bad. I would love to make you up. <laughs> oh my god. And finish off the journey and let's inspire so many other people out there. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> let's make you up. Cute. I've now got my wee lady who's my case study. I know the look I want to achieve and I hope I can do it with the designer clothes that we have. The shoot will take place at the Castlenock Hotel and Country Club. But first, they've got to style their models. Well, guys, I think you did an absolute brilliant job on your choice of patients. You both presented two great mood boards uh, that I feel certainly would represent the hospital brand going forward. And I'm really hoping today that that mood board certainly reflects in the overall makeover. So you're going to create your look today. You're going to do all the styling yourselves. You're going to have two and a half hours. Now, I'm not allowing you to go over that. That's right. even more generous than you'd have on a normal shoot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before they even think about hair and makeup, Phil and Julian have to choose outfits for their models. OK, guys, I have a huge selection of clothing from iClothing.ie that we can choose from, and they suit both your mood boards. So let's have a little look around the rails and see what tickles your fancy. Thankfully, top stylist Courtney Smith is on hand to facilitate the fabulosity. You had a lot of colour in your mood board, you had a lot of floaty dresses, and then for you, you had a lot of kind of Great Gatsby, lots of glamour, mm -hmm. kind of old school Audrey Hepburn yep, style. So yep. there's definitely something for both of you. There certainly is, yeah. I was kind of picking your eye at first. Um, that's instantly for me. Okay. See. I like There's the bright colours and I, I, there's something I could put a belt around as well. I wanted something, something Audrey Hepburnish, okay. stylish, and both of these fit the bill. They do, um, yeah. I want to okay. finish the outfit off with very high heels. She wants very okay, high heels. Okay, super heel. high heels. So this will show her legs off modestly. It'll come to her, her Just knee. Just above the knee, yeah. It's not like it's up, as we say in Belfast, round her hawk, you know. <laughs> there's no messing about today. These boys mean business. You think she'll like that one? I hope she likes that one. We can try one. it on her. I mean, we've loads of different options. I don't so. care. It's my look. Okay. She's going to have to like that <laughs> All one. All right, okay. So that's your look then. Is um, that the back of the front? <laughs> that's the front. That's, that's the front, the front of it. Yes. Well, maybe a bit of messing about. If you want to you draw attention. Them in a size eight. I have them in a size seven, but she can squeeze. I'll squeeze into yeah. them. <laughs> that's my outfit. All right. right there. She's going to have to like it. <laughs> I think everyone was in the same boat, that we all wanted Phil and G 
Julian to win. But I want to do something to your hair that comes round here and sort of sits just above your shoulder here, and it, give, it will give you a nice fullness there, and it sort of it'll sweep, you know. So I think that will look really nice. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm leaving it all up to you, you know. Is that wise? Elaine told me you can't cut hair. You're not allowed to cut hair. We don't do that. And I was like, well, to be honest, I th she's had the breast augmentation as well, and I wanted to show that off. So I was like, do you mind? And Audrey hasn't had the haircut in 10 years. I reckon this cut's going to take me about 15 minutes. Um, another 20 to put the hair pieces in, because I really want to get them centre. Julian's the kind of guy that when you're around him, you feel at ease. Do you have a partner, darling? Oh, I have a lovely husband at home. Oh, that's good. So you'll not be looking for one, that's no, good. No, no. Done and dusted. And he eases you, and he makes you laugh, and... He, he makes me laugh so much that it's like a witch's cackle coming out. Anne's hair is quite fine, <laughs> and when I'm putting those combs in, no. I'm anxious that I'm scratching her scalp. But we haven't oh, drawn so blood yet, have not we? Yet, no. <laughs> he spoke too soon. There's a good reason Elaine didn't want Phil cutting hair today. Slight cut. Has anyone got a plaster? I think so. I don't want any I'm not going to put this in hands. now. <laughs> so we'll go over. What a trooper! What a chancer! Get him a plaster. Am I enjoying myself? I'm sweating now. <laughs> perspiring and perspiring slightly. That's the blood and sweat taken care of. Don't worry, the tears are coming. Are you okay, Philip? Yeah, Is I'm your fine. Your finger okay? Just take a deep breath and It's not like and... it's a broken arm or anything. <laughs> yeah, well, at least this time you injured yourself as opposed to somebody else. I think Phil definitely deserves to be in the final um, because he not only has been very strong at the tasks and Abnormally so. Okay. Do you uh -huh. drive? Yeah. Well, you won't be in half <laughs> I'm actually delighted he's gotten to where he is. And I do think when it comes down to the task, he's going to execute it amazingly. Let's just close your eyes, sir. Boundaries, Philip. You'll get no such nonsense from Julian Simmons. That is firm enough, as long as not a force 10 gale when you go out. <laughs> Hairstyling complete. It's time for Julian to move to makeup. And we welcome back Annie Gribben from Makeup Forever. Legend. With regards to lipstick, do you like a vibrantly coloured lipstick, a red or. No, no, no. Really. How do you like your makeup then? Sort of pastel? Julian has a heart of gold. He's just such a lovely man. She's out of the way. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. And like there's been two personalities in this celebrity salon Philip being one of them and Julian the other. This is the primer, darling. And this is the basis of all good makeup forever. Words to live by from Julian Simmons. Phil is still working on Audrey's hair. To be fair, there's lots of it. I think we've got about half and half of your makeup, would you reckon? Oh, Looking forward to it? Nope. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get you over then, gorgeous. Phil, he's messed about a bit, but obviously he's also put his mind to certain things because he wanted to cut hair before he came here. And he's put his mind to it and he's done the best out of everyone. Julian is an absolute gentleman and he's made this experience a little bit easier for me. The, the main thing about Phil is the energy that I get from him is just unbelievable. Happy? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I like that sort of dusty look. You know, that's, anyway, okay. that is the look she's got, and that is the look she's having. <laughs> God love you. God love us all. Coming up in the final portion of Celebrity Salon 2012, the winner is finally revealed. It's like you've died and gone to hell. And the winner of Celebrity Salon 2012 is... Get a wee in. You don't want to miss this. And we're back. It's the final of Celebrity Salon 2012. Finalists Julian and Phil have been styling their models for the photo shoot that will decide the winner. But one crucial finishing touch remains. Bring on the lashes. I'm Marissa and I'm here today to show you the Eyes Like Georgia. Um, Georgia was a contestant on this show last year. Oh, right. Yeah, and she ha now has her own range of eyelashes and nails, so you too might be that lucky next year. We might be showing a task from you next year. Actually, Julian's holding out for an underwear line. 
I'm going to go with these ones here. They're called Temptress. But you can have a little look and see which ones you want to use for your model. And you want to check and see that the lashes actually fit your model or your client, your customer's eye. And you want to just place it just roughly kind of on the eye area and see is it too long is it too big or does it fit now you want to apply the glue paying particular attention to the ends so we're going to take our tweezers and we're going to hold the lashes in the center Julian you look like you're about to faint <laughs> I'll help you all the way through. Thank you. Okay. Please okay. that <laughs> And push into that corner. We finally located Julian's weakness. And hold. Okay. Wow. Gorgeous. Give the boys a look. <laughs> Gorgeous, flirty eyes like Georgia. <laughs> will you give a bash? Definitely. Well, if you're starting by, love. I will. <laughs> and the ambulance is outside. <laughs> She's got Georgia Selfers eyes. The clock is ticking, and Phil and Julian had better get a move on if they're going to apply them lashes in time for the photo shoot. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> right. The fact that I'm going to let a man go full time. <laughs> You've let a man do everything else. Yes. Well, that's true. <laughs> you look yeah, beautiful. That's it. Oh, yeah, I don't say so. Well. <laughs> I don't want to go for sultry, because that's not you, really. So you need to take off a good centimetre and a half nearly. Finger or thumb? Thumb. Oh, make a wish. No. <laughs> the glue's too good. <laughs> They're really good eyelashes. Yeah. I think I've said before, he's like a white tornado. You know, he, he's all action, all go. He'll try his hand at anything. And if you're saying to him, look, while you're tonguing that lady's hair, would you mind abseiling down the side of the hotel there from the roof to the ground? He would do it. There's nothing that Phil won't do. Okay, you can open your eyes. Gorgeous. Super. Thank you very much. Julian? Let's go get the clothes. We're all going to be grand. Would you like a brandy first? Or? I better not. Okay. I'll be full then. I'll be having my top off singing the fields of Anthem <laughs> Rye. And we'll not get them done. Anne looks worried. We don't blame her. That looks right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that looks amazing. Yes, it does, actually. Yeah. It really does. We've got to get the other one on yet. <laughs> it's like you've died and gone to hell. Yeah. I've got loads of sticky stuff between my fingers. <laughs> Have you ever had that? Do you know what I mean? That was a fluke. Well, okay, so we need to move on now because we're getting behind on time with your clothes. Yes, we are okay. indeed. How do you think Julian got on with the yeah, lashes? I mean, the first one was a bit touch and go, a bit tricky, but he really got the hang of it there with the second lash. Good, Very good. Impressive. And how did you think Philip did by comparison? Um, yeah, I mean, I had a little look over there at his, uh, his application. Good, yeah, I mean, his application seemed to be a lot quicker, but I think the, oh, the finished look, maybe Julian's looked... <laughs> Just a little bit better. Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Marissa. <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Hi, guys. Yeah. Oh, do you look amazing? Thank you. Fabulous work, Philip. Right. Do you want to get your dress? Yes. It's over on this rail over here. Yeah. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> you like? Yes. Do you like the color? I do. Yes. Oh, look at that. Let's show the nails as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. I'll pop you in chair. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Right. Go back. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be the judges of that. Human Dynamo Phil just has to sort the shoes and voila! Yes. You like it? I do. Right, let's get it accessorized. And you're colour coordinating, which is brilliant. So now you did ask for a tiara, which I couldn't get you. What? <laughs> it was on my mood board. Less is more. Brilliant. Ta-da! Now I'll need to do a few more touch-ups with your hair before we go. That's wow. okay. <laughs> wow! As you can see, there's a variety of colours, but I am going towards this. Ooh. And that's exactly the effect I wanted. And the dress is just the right length. Yes. And when the accessories go on, she gets the bag, I redo her lips. I think 
it's going to be quite good. I wanted something like this, but there's something far nicer in the room that I want to use. If, if you could just, Elaine, would you mind, where did you get this? It's from Miss Sheik. Would you mind if I borrowed it for the shoot? Of course you can. Of course you see, you can. it's you not. See, that's a fabulous, there, classy, no ritzy bracelet. Julian had better make sure Elaine gets that back. She will hunt him down. You're going to have to do your hair on oh, location. Oh, of course I will. Yes. For Evan is waiting to go. Yes, that's okay. right. Once we get the earrings in, we're fixed. Mm, good. Now, voila. Audrey Hepburn, eat your heart out. Time for our photo shoot. Our celebs have mere seconds to make those crucial final adjustments. Right now, however, it's simply too close to call. The pictures will decide it. I will be over here in your eye line doing the poses with you. That's perfect. Brilliant. And seeing Julian's model, he's got great taste, man, because she looked divine. I was actually thinking, oh no, I really want to win this so bad. That's perfect, lovely. That's it. Make sure the coat for being so patient for me. God pleasure. love you. It's a pleasure to be here. You did really well there. You pleasure, pleasure. Jerry Hall, eat your heart out. <laughs> now, where do we go now? I think we have to go and have a sit down somewhere and. An injection of something <laughs> to lift us up. <laughs> Come on, John. Oh, watch that you. wire. Don't break your neck now. Our two finalists have played an absolute blinder. Now it's down to the judges to decide the final winner of Celebrity Salon 2012. OK, so, Courtney, Ashling, we have a tough decision to make in relation to the hospital group brand. Certainly, Julian probably hit us a little bit more just okay. on the styling. Philip did an amazing job again, a little bit younger, quite flirty. He covered up the areas that she didn't like, but he still kept it young and short, and again, showed off her new figure. I suppose really when you look at the overall makeover, I mean, Philip did such a good job on the hair and the makeup. Um, and I think Julian picked an absolutely stunning, very demure, Audrey Hepburn style lace dress, um, and she felt a million dollars in it, so he did a great job. So this is really gonna be a tough decision. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so Philip and Julian, here we are. It's been a long journey. It has indeed. Yeah. I think a very long journey at some stages. <laughs> but I think that you both worked really, really hard and put your minds to it at times. And when you did, you were both just fantastic. But there has to be a winner. And the winner of Celebrity Salon 2012 is... Uh, I can't believe it to be honest. There's some really technical and difficult things you have to do and I'm so pleased that people thought I was good. I'm glad Phil won because Phil worked so hard. Not having a baldy clue what I was doing, he did. He's very good with hair and he deserved to win. Julian is the nicest guy and I hope everyone sees that. Your prize for winning Celebrity Salon 2012 is to coincide with the opening of Paul Sheeran, Tag Hire, Jewelers, you have won a Tag Heuer Formula One chronograph watch. Wow. <laughs> because you have been so fantastic, Julian, we have a fabulous runner up prize. Oh. And Ashling Holly has very kindly given a 1,000 euro voucher for non surgical treatments for the hospital group. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> What I really need here, as you know, is Lourdes, but this is a good alternative. I'm just going to go out tonight, don my watch, Celebrity Salon winner. Yes! Until next time, remember, beauty is only skin deep and celebrities can do anything. Ciao!